The Night Shot is designed to work with both Picatinny and Weaver rail systems. Picatinny rail systems have identically sized repetitive slots, whereas the Weaver rail system has slots oriented in varying positions. To accommodate the wide number of Weaver and Picatinny rails, the rifle scope mount uses one cross bolt that the shooter can position to work correctly with their particular application. Only one cross bolt is required to prevent forward or aft movement during recoil. The second clamping bolt is used in conjunction with the first to ensure the rifle scope does not move on the rail. The night shot scope appears longer than a typical rifle scope due to the rubber eyepiece extension. Note that the shooter's face should be located just as it comes in contact with the edge of this eyepiece as it is designed to provide the shooter with one and three quarter inches of eye relief while closing off any ambient light source to keep reflections out of the eyepiece. Power on and off. On. Press and hold the power button for two to three seconds. Off. Press and hold the power button for two to three seconds. Brightness control. Press the brightness control button. The brightness will be adjusted in the following cycle. The symbol will be displayed on the screen and will disappear after three seconds. IR intensity control. The IR intensity will be adjusted in the following cycle. The symbol will remain on the screen. Reticle selection. Quick pressing the power button cycles between three different reticle types. Each of the three reticle types can be configured in white or black, allowing the shooter to adjust the reticle type and color to best suit the current shooting environment. Windage and elevation. Remove the protective caps from the windage and elevation adjustment knobs. On the windage adjustment, left and right are indicated by L and R. On the elevation adjustment, up and down adjustments are indicated by U and D. To make adjustments to the point of impact, click the knob in the required direction, taking into account that one click equals a quarter inch at 50 yards. The number at the top or bottom and left or right of the screen shows adjustment settings. Replace cap to secure the settings. Final zeroing should be done at the distance where you do most of your shooting. For most hunters using night vision, this will be in the 50 to 100 yard range. Eyepiece focus and initial setup. With the lens cap closed, set eyepiece focus to your individual eyesight by pressing any button to display a graphic on the screen. Adjust the eyepiece until the graphic comes into sharp focus on the display. Note, with the cap closed, the black reticle cannot be seen. Set eyepiece focus once only. Do not readjust unless a different shooter uses the scope. Objective lens focus. Ensure the lens cap is open. Do not change your eyepiece focus after initial setup. Use the objective of lens focus to focus on targets at differing distances. Power display and battery life. This device uses four AA alkaline or lithium batteries. When the battery voltage is too low, the device will not operate. Expect approximately three hours of battery life under normal use with alkaline batteries. The use of quality lithium batteries is highly recommended as lithium ion batteries will significantly increase battery life. The IR uses the majority of the battery power, so if the IR is left on, the battery life decreases significantly. Significantly. This is the connection point for the optional IR used as a supplemental IR source or independently.